Nelson Mandela walks out of the gates of the former Victor Fistad prison a free man, not knowing what the country's future holds. Four years later, he's inaugurated as South Africa's first black president. Now he's gravely ill after spending almost a month in hospital. Friends, inmates and officials at the renamed Drakensen Correctional Facility have paid tribute to Madiba in the way they know best. <laughs> ANC MP Rosemary Sonto recalls the day he drove Mandela to freedom. I was happy and at the very same time one uh, understood that there were many enemies out there that would have done something very bad to the old man. And of course, his longtime friends had some quirky anecdotes to share about Madiba. I claim sometimes that I've introduced him to Ma Gracia. When we... <laughs> yes, he, he, I claim also that he came to fetch me from exile. I'm one of the very few people that that happened. <laughs> so, because when he met her the first time, I was his betrayer. Correctional services officials, MPs, and those who've been touched by Madiba have used this day to reflect on the legacy of a man who secured South Africa's freedom. They've appealed to people to continue praying for the former president as he enters his fifth week in hospital. Leanne Jansen, Drakensen Correctional Facility in the Western Cape. News that moves. ENCA.com.